Spending time with my dad in Chattanooga, Tennessee. <laughs> Daddy, what was it like growing up, do you, if you remember? For me? Yeah. We didn't have much of a background. We just lived, we uh, went to the school, and uh, we went to school up here in Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. When school is out, I rented, our dad to take us to Georgia, to his oh, okay. dad's farm. Mm -hmm. That's where we'll stay until it's time to go back to school. So you was about 10 years old in 54. 54, I think 54, he was born in 44. Yeah. So did y'all do like, was it slavery then? Was it black and white fountains? Was it? Yeah, black and white fountains. Y'all pick cotton? Yeah. But we were working on a, on our, my dad had a farm. Mm -hmm. And so many acres, I guess he would rent it or whatever. But he had to have help. So, Granddaddy had a farm? Yeah. It was huge. He had a garden. <laughs> we need that now. We had a garden from from here to the back, fence back, back there. there. Might be yeah. a little fuck. Oh, okay. And he had everything you can think of in that garden. Everything. Mm-hmm. And we uh we go out there and pick up pick the uh, vegetables and Pile them up, pick out the bad ones. Yeah. And then we get in the truck and go downtown and sell them. Wow. We did that once a week. But we was in the cotton field, lime in the field, and corn field yeah. every day. Mm. Yeah, every day was Sunday. We had Saturday and Sunday off. Okay. And y'all went to church on Sunday? Heck yeah. <laughs> we play down there. Oh man, that was Georgia. Mm -hmm. I would think that was Walker County, wasn't it? Uh, Lagrange, Georgia. Lagrange, Georgia. It might. It's a county, but I don't, I don't forget. It might be a Walker County. Or Lafayette. No. no okay. Right. Okay, Lagrange. Yeah. It's... It is a Walker County because I stayed in Walker County. You, you don't remember, but I used to stay. Yeah, you drove down there and everything. I was standing in the little projects and oh, you. Oh, that was Lafayette. Lafayette, yeah. yeah. Which is that's Walker County. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. I I was. I don't know what our little county was. It might have been a Walker County. I don't know. You said you stayed down. You said I went to school over there, so I yeah. don't know. Yes, yeah. you did. I remember you telling me that. Yeah, I stayed in Lafayette. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I went to school and we stayed in Dewberry. Dewberry, okay. I, I, all the school children in Dewberry went to uh, uh, Lafayette School. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, they don't know what it's like to do hard work these days. Mm -mm. Not at all. If you, if you yeah. I'm telling you to get out there and go do it. That's something I can I, can I know. That's it's just it's unbelievable. Yeah. You get out here and raise them, let them play and act a fool and curse, and, and then you want to brag on them. You know, I ain't had nothing to brag on but my daughters. I'm thank God they didn't they didn't do crack. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you guys. I am in Chattanooga, Tennessee, over my dad's house. Um, by the time y'all see this portion of my vlog, it'll be Thursday night or Friday morning. But um, yeah, I'm going to get my hair did Thursday. So y'all watching this vlog is Thursday night. <laughs> I have to come and visit my dad. He's not doing too well. I had to let him give a brief description of his history. Um, he's out there washing my car. He was determined to wash my car and he's determined to vacuum it out. And I said, Dad, it's okay. I'll do it when I get home, you know. And uh, But I had to come and see my dad. I only get to see him for one 24 hours. And in the morning, I have to hit the highway and get back. And go raining. And it's, and it's another guy named, uh, uh, named uh, uh, Mr. Robert. Yeah. He, he, he does work, man, like this, man. What they man, you do? Oh, yeah. Say hey that? to the camera, Raymond. Hey there. <laughs> what is the phone? Yeah, no, it's a camera. It's cute. It's recording. I got to get me a camera. I ain't no cameraman. What's up, yo-yos, peeps? I am about to die. My hair is so messed up. Yeah, you look like you're about to die. What's up, yo-yos, peeps? I am about to die my locks. Um, It has been a whole summer, and I have not got my locks done since, I think it was June. 
since the last time I went and got my locks done. Um, and as you can see, the growth, you can see the growth in it and stuff. So yeah, it's uh, it's past overdue. So your girl is about to dye her locks. I am using to dye my locks just basic um soft sheen. It's called soft sheen, dark and lovely, um natural. <laughs> Natural, um, wait a minute, natural black. So, yeah. So this is what I'm using to dye my hair with. Also, I will be using, um, I am holding my camera with my hand. So I'll, after I dye my hair, I'm going to wash my hair with this. This is my favorite thing right now. Like seriously, I really like this stuff. It's, um, it's really good, especially for my hair. It really good. It conditions good. It leaves it soft and smelling good and everything. So, um, the lady who does my hair, she can wash her and do all of that. But because I'm dying my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. Um, but yes, I'm supposed to go get my hair done at 2:30 today, and right now it's around 12:15. So, yes, your girl is about to dye her locks. So watch me dye my locks. Um, it's a. I use two boxes of these. I got two boxes. Um, because when you put the dye on locks, it's just like it eats that dye up. Like, one, I only have enough for the top, and then I have to put some for the back. So, yeah, your girl is about to dye her locks. So, let's do okay. it. So, um, I got my towel wrapped around me, even though it's probably not going to stay. Um, <laughs> dyeing locks, especially if they, because, like, my locks have gotten longer. I have been having my locks now for three years, um, since May of 20. 14 and I had the big chop done and um and this is as long as this time like I literally had the big chop done it was really really short um I'm not sure if I can upload a picture or not but if I can you'll see the picture if I can't then is there's not gonna be a picture but um but also um the dark and lovely dye that I bought comes with this conditioner um, anybody uses dark and love you know it comes with this conditioner I'm not gonna be using that conditioner I'm gonna be using this conditioner because it says to just only rinse my hair and condition it so and that's some really good conditioner so I love it <laughs> but hey how you doing out there um, if you're watching my vlog, thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have clicked on my channel and you've seen some other videos, uh, I got videos on my opinion on stuff and I got I got all kind of other little crazy little videos, but um, but yes, I'm about to dye my locks on video and this is gonna be hard for me. So I got my gloves. Let me get started because I don't like, you know, sometimes when I watch people vlogs, they talk, talk, and talk. You know, now just be sitting there talking. I, I'm kind of an impatient person, so um, I don't really like to sit, sit, and listen to nobody just talk. But it's up to who you, you know, what, whatever you're doing right now. So, anyways, I got my gloves because I don't want to get the dye on my hands. So I'll put my gloves on, you guys. All right, <laughs> I got my towel, which I know is not gonna stay. What I'm gonna be doing? I got both my dyes. I had to get two because if you got locks, you know, you can't just use one. And if you got really, really long locks, you know, you can't just use two. So, um, yeah. Okay. So I got my gloves. I got my dye. I got my towel. And now it's just time to get this started. I am nervous. I'm being honest with you guys because I don't want to get the dye all over my bathroom. You know, because with locks, like if I die, I have to, I have to, I have to be careful because if I go like this, It'll sling all over the walls. So, <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So let's see. I have to pop the tops off of them. Hopefully they won't run over. I'm just gonna pop the top off one for right now. I think I'm going to start with the because I'm on video and I want to be careful. I don't want to get it in my eye. I have literally one time one of my one of my locks did like this. Whoop! And why? Oh my gosh! It burnt. I rushed to the water okay so I'm gonna take my time what I think what I'm gonna do is start with the back you're not gonna be able to see it I'm just gonna be putting it on there it's basically it's all you do is just like you dye your regular hair but it's not like 
you see some people with the brush and they part it and then they brush it. I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna do it Yolanda's way, okay? So don't judge me. Don't say, why you did, why you do it like this? And why you do it like that? I'm doing it my way. This is how I always dye my hair. Um, and yeah, let's get this going. So anyways, I'm gonna start with the back. Also, I, also, I mean, I said also. <laughs> also, look at the color of my hair right now. I want y'all to focus on that. This, my hair used to be red. Also, I'm gonna try to upload a picture of my big chop and when, when I dyed my hair red. I have them pictures, I'm gonna try to upload it so you can see it, I'm not sure where or if it's gonna be on the next clip. But um, when I dyed my hair red, okay it was beautiful i loved it but you know i have to i have to keep a job and some some employers it's already a law saying that they don't have to hire you if you have locks yes there is look it up um also well it's not a law but it's legal that they don't have to hire you so um also i dyed my hair red and you know i want to be able to get a job and stuff so i do have a job right now but i just want to be i want to look you know unfortunately i work if i didn't work i would literally have red blue whatever color in my hair but unfortunately I work. Thank God I got a job. So I have I'm just I just want to do it black. I, I just want my hair dyed black. So but when I had the red in my hair and trying to take it out of my hair, I got a video of that on my on my channel. I tried to dye my hair two times in one day and I damaged my locks. Luckily I still have them. They're still here, they're still growing. So um yes, you can see that video. I think it was either the first video I ever uploaded or the second one, I'm not sure. But anyway, still to this day, this has been now over a year. No, it's been since the first of this year since I did that. And every time I wash my hair and lay down, the red is still coming out of my hair. So I know, I said I would never do that again. But anyways, as you can see the color, see the ends? You could tell, you could tell, see? And then you can see the back. The back has always stayed black. But you could tell. But anyways, let me get the dime. This is why I got two. This is why I got two um dies. See, this is almost empty. I don't know if you could tell, but it's literally almost empty. And that's just from the back. Okay, now I'm about to get the front. I'm done with the back, that's all it takes. For me, that's all it takes. Now a lot of people won't be able to do this on their own, so they'll literally, it'll be easier just to go to a hairstylist and get it and do it. I could get the lady that does my hair to do it, but I just, I'm used to doing a lot of things on my own. Like I literally wash my hair before I go to get my locks uh, tightened every month. Um, because it's just something I like to do. I like the way I wash my hair. So, but here we go. I'm gonna use the rest of this. That's gone. Now I'm using the second bottle.
And this is the part that's really crucial because oh I'm messing my towel. Um it will literally fall in my eye. So I have to be really, really careful. And I'm going ahead and getting the top because that way I can just lay it on back. Making sure I get my ends. And there goes my towel, just literally falling off my shoulder. And I don't want to touch it because my gloves are wet. Usually, I mean, my hair I got so long, it's, you know, I just don't want to, I'm trying to squeeze the stuff in there because you have to literally try to squeeze it in. Oh, what time is it? Right now it's 12.34. I usually let this dye stay in my hair for at least 50 minutes to make sure it soaks through my dreads, even though it says 30 minutes. And I really hope that I get my ends because that's the crucial part, you know, especially up here because this is where all my red was at. arms hurt okay now I gotta get the rest of this oh my hair okay I hate that cuz I was gonna use this towel after I took a shower but I guess I'm not gonna be using it some more for the other side don't be going out now <gasps> no it's getting on my dress Excuse me, I, I'll say one thing but mean something else. Okay. I hate that because I got it all on my dress. Okay, so now I just gotta get this side and I'll be done. And that took almost, probably less than 14 minutes because I was talking. Did I get that in my eye? Probably not. <laughs> I thought I felt something squirt in my eye. That's what I'm saying, gotta be careful. Drop it in my ear. Let me close my eye while I do this. Okay. See, I literally almost, I ran out right on this side of that. That's why I said you gotta get two 
for like my lifts i got two boxes of dye um now i'm not sure it depends on how long your hair is um I'm just making sure the dye gets in there. Okay, I got the dye in my hair, you guys. I'm pretty sure I don't skip some strands back there, but the back I'm not really concerned. The top is what I'm concerned about because that's where it was starting to fade because I had that red in my hair. Also, if you watch my vlogs, you probably don't, but if you have seen the one that I have on the acne mask, my acne has came back with a vengeance. <laughs> For real. So, I'm telling you, nothing helps my acne. I, I can't stand it. And it's like, you know, I am finna get on an exercise routine. I am finna change the way I eat. I'm gonna try it. I really do wanna work out and get started on it and could be consistent with it. Um, I don't have a workout buddy. Um, I can't wait that she do my hair because my edges are so, my roots, not edges, my roots have grown out so much. Okay. I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna take these gloves off. What I'm doing is putting a bag over my head for the rest of the remaining time because I don't want my hair to touch everything. Making sure I know the here. Yes, girl. It's a Walmart bag. <laughs> I um I ran out of um uh, look at it, I got it all in my arms. I ran out of um uh, what you call them, uh the the caps. The shower cap thingies. Uh, see, look, I done messed up my towel. Look at that. I hate that. And then I got it all on my face. And look at that, I got a string out. Sorry. I got it on my dress. Hopefully, it'll wash out at the time. Over time. I got it all on my sink. It's easy to get off the sink, though. So. Okay, it's been 18, 19 minutes now. Okay, so basically what I'm, I'm about to do, I'm going to let my hair sit for the next, uh, probably the next 30 minutes. Um, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in the shower and I'm going to um, rinse. And it, it said not to wash my hair. I did say I was going to wash it early, but I'm not going to wash it. I'm going to lever it up. It said put warm water on it, lever it up, lavender it up, and to... Uh, Excuse me, you guys. I'm talking too fast. And then I'm gonna put a good conditioner on, leave it on there while I'm taking my shower, and then I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna show you the results, and then I'm gonna go get my hair, you guys. So I just got out of the shower, and this is my hair now. Can you tell the difference? It's all black. <laughs> yeah, so see? <sighs> Look how long it is. So I am going to try to upload a picture of my before, like when I got my hair fully chopped off when it was really, really short. And then when I dyed my hair red. Um, also, I forgot that I was going to clip my ends. I usually clip my ends, but I'm going to let her do it. Um, but yeah, this is my hair. I literally just stepped out of the shower. I have on a towel, so don't think I'm sitting here very nude. 
but I'm about to get ready and go and get my hair done and get my nails done and I will be back to you guys it'll be a second but for me it'll be about four hours <laughs> so all right guys continue to watch I'll be right back I thought hey my everyone I am back <laughs> can you see my hair <laughs> I was gonna crinkle it here at home but I got her to crinkle it and I think she did a pretty good job I have been having my locks for three years and these are called G locks or interlock locks and uh, so my hair don't get twisted if she uses a tool and she locks it so but yeah this is my hair got longer it's <laughs> longer than this one it ain't crinkled but yeah so all right you guys it has been wonderful it's been a long day I did not get my nails done because literally I said in her, I was there since 2.30 to 6.30. Like literally, yeah, four hours. So, um, I love it. <laughs> but thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.